Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, it is go time with the one and only Mega Crusher. Let's just jump right into the video. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are new here to the channel and you have yet to subscribe, well then do exactly that. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to join the Woo Squad. And with that being said, if you also enjoy this video, please be sure to give this a thumbs up. And with that said, let's get underway and get started, baby! Woo! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so the first thing that I want to talk about here real quick in this video is the fact that there is currently a special trading event going on in Pokemon Go. And with all of that, the main attraction when it comes to this event is the Stardust discount when it comes to trading. So all trades, including special trades, will cost 25% less Stardust. And this lasts until August 19th at 9 p.m. PDT and applies to all friends, even brand new ones. So with that being said, if you guys are at a really high level when it comes to Stardust and when it comes to friendship and all that stuff, you're going to be really, really happy with this event right here. And the fact that this is a Stardust discount thrown in as well. This is actually really awesome, and it is a huge saver on dust in my opinion, because dust is so hard to come by here in Pokemon Go, so it's really, really nice that we actually have ourselves a special little event going on. It's not really a big event to make a big fuss over, but you know what? Nonetheless, it is still an event, and you know what? I can honestly say that I appreciate this event, and I really appreciate trading, you know? It's like I said in my trading video where I talk about lucky Pokemon saving trading in Pokemon Go. Like, this right here, honestly, I can get behind this, and I can honestly say that I can get behind trading just that much more when it comes to Pokemon Go. Really honestly wish that they didn't mess with the IVs, though, man, because that makes me go crazy, man! But with that being said, though, we actually have ourselves some more to talk about here in this video, so let's move on. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, on to the next segment here of this video. We are actually going to be talking about the special event boxes revolving around this special event trading. And I actually completely agree with Pokemon Go Hub. These boxes are not so good. Are you actually kidding me? Okay. Now, you guys are probably wondering, we'll make a crash. Why are you freaking out? Why are you blowing a gasp? You know, <sighs> calm down. Woosa. Woosa. Okay. Here's the thing. I, I understand, you know, all the deep breath and self-help stuff and all that. I Look, I get that. But see, here's the thing. Is that you're going to understand my frustrations in a moment here, man. In fact, let's actually waste no more time and let's scroll down here. The title says all. This is one of the worst boxes Niantic has ever given. I'm not even sure myself why incubators are the focus of the damn boxes. Below is a quick analysis on each box and the savings that you get, okay? So here's the thing. Is that, you know, upon further investigation, I gotta, I just gotta ask. You know, like, this right here, okay, this is an event based on trading and startups. Am I right? Am I right? Yes, I am right. Hello. Anyways, guys, what we got going on here, we actually have ourselves a graph that showcases what we have, the contents, I mean, when it comes to the boxes, all right? So for the special regular box, you get two incubators, four lucky egg, four star piece. Not bad. And it's for 480 coins. So, I mean, you know, that's, that's really not that bad. We then get to the great box. For 780 coins, you get four super incubators. Six Lucky Eggs, almost said four Lucky Eggs, my bad. Six Star Pieces and four Lore Modules, okay? That's actually pretty good. But then we get to the Ultra Box, and it just seems like that Niantic just dropped the ball somewhere and just decided to slip on a damn banana peel and just decided to just accidentally on purpose, whoops, decide to throw in ten Super Incubators and six Premium Raid Passes. Like, okay, it's like, how come you don't have Star Pieces in there? Because we've got nine Lucky Eggs and nine war modules, but the damn star pieces are missing up in this! Why couldn't that six premium raid passes be six star pieces, or nine star pieces, or something like that? Because, here's the thing, is that, like, what we got going on here, is that, you know, okay, I actually agree with this line right here, with this sentence that says, I'm not even sure why incubators are the focus of the boxes. And here's the thing, is that another thing I want to add is I'm not even sure why premium raid passes are the focus of the boxes either. That just doesn't make any sense, man! Like, what the deuce? Like, these, uh, these these boxes are booty. These are one of the worst boxes I have ever seen. I'm sorry if you disagree with me, man, but come on! It's like, for an event that revolves around saving on Stardust, 
you're 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 not you're not really getting too many items that revolves around getting more stardust. And of course, the reason I say that is because you know we get to the special boxes again. Like, let's just highlight all this stuff. You know, like we get to the special box. Okay, you get four star pieces. We then move on to the great. You get six. It should have been like nine or ten or something when it get to the ultra man. But instead, they decide to just decide to slip in. You know, premium raid passes for absolutely no reason whatsoever. This isn't a raiding event, man. This is a trading Stardust event sort of thing. You know what I'm saying? You're trading Pokemon. You're saving 25% on your Stardust spending. You know what I'm saying? But, okay. Like, okay. So, here's the thing. Is that this right here is the real kicker. We actually, actually, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. So, the box value analysis. Coins saved per box, incubator only. We are only going to be looking at the Ultra. So, you get 520 coins, all right? So, coins saved per box. Uh, you have... 2,447.5, so that is a lot of coin right there. So the percent discount, incubator only, 26%, percent discount in general, 62%! Like, okay, like that's just absolutely crazy, man. Like, this is absolutely crazy. So, before the verdict, I would like to reiterate that I choose to not use the standard price of Lucky Egg War Module and Star Pieces, since the comparison should be more on the price of buying in bulk. And, here's the thing, is that, in general, when it comes to these boxes, you are going to get more bang for your buck because you're buying in bulk, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a lot of coin and all that stuff, but you're getting bulk, like, items in bulk, you know what I'm saying? But, here's the thing, is that if you guys are looking for raid passes, it just honestly would be cheaper to buy them individually. Like, six? Six? Really? Six premium raid passes? Like, that just... Oh, man. Like, that's just honestly... That is... That's bad. That is honestly really, really bad. I mean, like, if you're looking... Like I said, you know, if you're looking for premium raid passes, you're better off buying them individually, you know? But... Wow. They shouldn't even have premium raid passes to begin with when it comes to these boxes. They should honestly have taken out the six premium raid passes and put in like six or nine star pieces or something like that. But hey, that's just my opinion, you know what I'm saying? But with that being said, let's get to the verdict. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm about to show you is the real kicker here. And this is actually kind of what it made me go off a little bit, you know? So what we have here is we actually have ourselves in comparison when it comes to the event boxes for the incubators and the event boxes when it comes to incubators from the Safari boxes, you know, from the Safari Zone event. So, we have ourselves, we're going to be uh, viewing Ultra Graph only, because that's where you get the most bang for your buck. So, in this event, you would get 10 Super Incubators, and in the, pre in the uh, Safari Zone event, you would get 12. And then, Lucky Eggs in this event, you would get 9, and Lucky Eggs in Safari boxes, you would get 12! Like, what the hell, man? It's like, are they trying to rip us off? Are they trying to undercut us or something like that man i don't appreciate that too much you know but anyways the like that's just crazy and coins saved per box in this event would be like i said 2447.5 but coins saved per boxes in the safari boxes would actually be over 3000 3020 to be exact are you actually kidding me? Like, that is that is absolutely crazy. That's almost 25% more coins that you're saving. Or actually, I think that might be more. Or I just, well, my math is a little bit off right now because I'm, I'm a little bit fuming, man. Your boy Mega Crasher is absolutely just, like, he is he is just in the zone right now, man. See, here's the thing. is I didn't even take my pre-workout yet, and I'm going to be going to the gym shortly. So... The percent discount in this event is 62%, and the percent discount in the Safari box is a 67%! That is a whole 5% difference, and that might not be much of a difference if you think about it at first, but in the grand scheme of things, man, that is a huge difference, you know what I'm saying? But with that being said, I want to know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you guys actually like these boxes? Do you guys not like these boxes? I want to hear from you, man, like, because this is absolutely crazy right now, man. So anyways, guys, that's going to be kind of concluding this video, you know what I'm saying? But see, here's the thing, is that I'm still a little bit angry when it comes to these boxes right here, because see, 
me and Jason, my brother, we ended up discussing these, and we both come to the we both come to the conclusion that these boxes are absolute ass. They are trash, you know. And it seems like that Pokemon Go Hub seems to agree as well, because these boxes, in comparison to other event boxes, are some of the worst boxes I have ever seen in the entirety of playing Pokemon Go, man. But anyways, like I said, that's just my opinion. I want to know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. And that's going to be it for the video, man. So please be sure to smash the like button in support and subscribe. We are two away from hitting 100 epic subscribers, man. So please be sure to smash the subscribe button with your knees like you are the part of the League of Knees, man. So with that said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next up, Blue.